Hi, Chris Good here. I want to share with you a build of a condenser microphone kit from microphone-parts.com. This is their RA23 kit. Ships with the microphone body as well as their RK47 capsule and everything else that you need to make your own condenser microphone, really high quality microphone. Uh, so I have to say that this is my first major electronics project, um, you know, from start to finish, and I think it went really well. Uh, the instructions, I can't get over how absolutely crystal clear they were. They have high quality, high res, high mag images, so that at every single step, you're absolutely sure that you're doing the right thing. I followed those instructions to the letter, though. So I laid out, as you can see in this image, all of the components as per the image in the instructions, uh, just so I knew that everything uh, that was supposed to be there was there, um, that I could identify everything clearly, and everything was very clearly labeled, um, and uh, except there was one resistor I did have to check the value on. There was one, only one point of ambiguity. This, there was this one resistor. Used the multimeter to check the value, and, and everything went great. Here we're uh, installing the capacitors. All of, almost all of these are uh, non-polarized, so you don't need to worry about the orientation of the capacitors, and you won't have to go back later and, and uh, try to reposition something. There's really only two uh, larger capacitors that you have to you know, you know, be really sure that you orient them correctly. And But again, the images are so crystal clear that you're not going to make a mistake. Um, and the boards are very well laid out, too, so there's, there's really only one way that you can do it. So... Uh, no worries there. Um, again, this was my first major uh, electron electronics uh, project, and uh, I felt pretty good about it. As uh, I was soldering more and more, the joints got better and better, but even those first ones really weren't so bad. Um, again, following the instructions to the letter, I uh, took this in and got some 100% uh, ethanol to remove the flux, from uh, the from all sides of the board, and uh, you do have to use 100% ethanol to do that, or isopropyl alcohol. Uh, this is the really the hardest part, I think, was installing the capsule and attaching the capsule leads to the boards. The boards themselves extremely straightforward. Installing the capsule. Um, a little more tricky, and attaching the leads, especially to the boards, pretty difficult. However, uh, the wire in there is really strong, um, and so it's pretty forgiving, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Um, there's a little trick here where uh, we'll adjust the bias for the particular components that uh, shift. So we're attaching the uh, multimeter there, adjusting the bias, and then testing the microphone. This is it. If you liked the audio that you're hearing on this track, it was recorded through this microphone. It worked perfectly the first time I plugged it in, so... Uh, thanks, microphoneparts.com.